Okay, so before we continue, can somebody tell me why 30 plus 30 was wrong? Because people who did the 30, 30 plus 30, why is 30 plus 30 wrong, Nick? Because that's the that's to find area, and you just want to find the two sides. Because that's the inside of the ring. Okay. Shh. Yeah. Girls? It's like that's the inside of the ring, and you don't want to find like, the inside of the ring. Okay, Nick is talking, and you guys are having your own conversations. That's not going to work. Okay, Nick, come up here just for a sec, Jonathan. Come up here and demonstrate on the diagram. Just point why 30 plus 30 is wrong. Look up here, because a lot of you are doing 30 plus 30. Look up here. Uh, because this is like the inside, and you only want to find the other side of the room. What did he just say? Can you repeat what he just said, please? Jess, what did he just say? Um, that it's the inside, and you're trying to figure out the outside. All right. So, Cassie, are you listening? Yeah. Why is 30 plus 30 wrong? Um, because it's not like, I don't know how to Well, we just, somebody just said it twice. Michael? Um, 30 plus 30 is wrong because that's the inside area of the ring. ring. We just want the outside perimeter. Yeah, 30's inside. No business, you have no business adding 30 when it's not on the outside. I highlighted the perimeter for you, and you still went in here. So to put 30 plus 30 is wrong. So that's first. Then Lee came up here, and he gave us a better circumference of the circle. And now Jonathan's going to add something. Well, I agree with Lee up until the point where he divided it by 2. I say that you should keep it the same at um, 94 decimal 2 because what Lee did was calculated if it was a full circle. Can I just go ahead, show them you're good. What Lee did was he just um, extended the circle pretty much and did like a full perimeter circumference of um, the circle. So if he divided by um, uh, two, then he'd be saying that he'd be adding another inside in here. Did you understand that? Okay, so when Lee divided the circumference by two, what was he getting, Jonathan? Um, he was getting at, like, that there's two circles. Okay, what did he get when he divided the circumference by two? Just answer that one question. Nick? One the semicircle. He got one semicircle. Do you all agree with that? If you take the circumference and divide it by two, Nick's correct. You get one semicircle. How many semicircles are in this diagram? Two. Two. When you put two semicircles together, what do you get? When you put this one and this one together, what do you get? One full circle. So do you all agree? What do you need, Jonathan? Go ahead, fix it. So. Thanks so much, Miss. So explain to them what you're doing, Jonathan. So I would actually just kept the same because I you knew if I just um, divided by two, I'd have to multiply it by two anyways. So okay. then I just have to cancel it out. So it just ended up being that. Okay, that's fine. So add the 94.7, give me a new total. Erase that. Thank you, Jonathan. Is that the right answer now? Yeah. Thanks. 